You might be thinking that rendering a floor plan in 10 minutes is impossible, but it's totally possible. In fact, this video is proof and I've done it before. You see, this video was and still one of my most popular videos because I shared a specific magic tool. It has helped thousands of architectural students worldwide with rendering floor plans and even procrastination. That tool is this Photoshop action. And if you don't know what's a Photoshop action, I want you to imagine all of the steps that you have to take to render something, whether that's drop shadow, adding colors, textures, and effects. That process takes a long time. Now, a Photoshop action will save all of those steps, so you only need to hit play, and it will act out all of the steps as if you'd done them, but in super speed. So you can get the same results with less time. And because the action was so successful, the creators created a newer, cooler, and improved version. The setup is easier, the interface is cleaner, and it has so many new features. Because now it can render floor plans, sections or elevations, and perspectives. Let's start with rendering the floor plan. If I open the Archie toolbox and select anything in my drawing and then apply an effect, you can see that this error window pops up saying that the mask layer was not found. So click on the mask layer before you apply any effects. And now if I select this shape, I can apply the water effect. And I'm using the magic wand tool by the way, which is shortcut W. After that, I'm going to select all of these shapes and apply a grass effect. Now, because this site has different levels, I'm going to apply the grass effect on multiple layers so that later on I can reduce its opacity so that I can get that difference of levels across. But of course, if you want to save time, you can select all of the shapes and apply one grass effect and it will still look good. Look how easy it is to just select the trees and apply a tree effect, which saves you so much time instead of trying to find a top view tree and rotating it and trying to make it look natural. There's also a street effect and building roof under site plan. And look how easy it is to create a shadow for this roof. And this window will pop up as well to let you choose the scale of the shadow. Go with a very low number because that's more realistic. Under pavement, there's a few textures that you can choose from. And this window will pop up to let you choose the scale and also the color of the texture. I'm going to select everything that's been cut in the floor plan and then apply the walls effect. And that just gives you the classic black wall cut. And then everything that's not cut, I'm going to select it and apply an interior effect. And that just gives it a nice gray color with a bit of texture instead of it being plain white. There's also a tab in the Archie toolbox where you can import assets such as human figures, trees and symbols. So I've imported the north arrow to use on this floor plan. And I also downloaded these watercolor trees from Etsy. I'm going to select this one and add three to the floor plan to add a bit of variety. Once I'm done with adding all of the textures, I can go back and reduce the opacity of the layers to make sure that everything looks how I want it to look. You can click on the drop shadow here and that will open up this menu where you can change the angle of the drop shadow. And if you change it, it will change for the entire drawing. I'm going to lower the opacity of the grass to get that difference of levels. And I'm happy to stop right now and use this plan in my presentations. You can see in my recording program that it only took seven minutes to get this far, but I want to color the furniture to make them stand out a bit more. So I'm going to select any wooden furniture and then using the custom layer, I can choose a gray brown color to indicate that they're wooden. And all of the other furniture, I can add another custom layer and make them gray. 
You can of course add so much detail into the furniture, but it's not really the main point of the floor plan, so two or three colors should look interesting. At any point, if you want to remove something from the effect, select it, go into the layer, and then click on delete in your keyboard, and it will delete it. And if you want to add something to the layer or the effect, you can select it, go into the Archi toolbox, add selection to the layer, and it will apply the effect. Now, because this was a custom layer and we changed the color, the colors might not match. So you can click on the change fill color to apply the brown color again. Once you're happy with the entire drawing, you can click on color grading, which will apply this preset. And if you want a different preset, you can click on this color lookup and select the different presets from this list right here that's pre-installed in your Photoshop. I accidentally deleted the trees layer, but there they are again. And look how amazing this plant looks. And it only took just over 10 minutes to create. And I really enjoyed this Archi toolbox that I wanted to try and create a different style. So with it, you can create so many different effects and styles to your floor plants in just over 10 minutes, which is insane. And now let's test this Archi toolbox on a section. So once again, make sure that you have your mask layer before you apply any effect. And there's a tab here for elevation and sections. Look how easy it is to just select this and apply a ground fill. And look at how perfectly blended this is. I'm adding the grass in a matter of seconds and also a sky. Personally, I really enjoy overcast sky, so I'm going to select it. And then under treatment, I'm gonna select a texture that's quite plain. Then I'm gonna make it gray and then lower its opacity. And I also added a hue and saturation adjustment layer to the grass to make it less saturated. I'm really going for the grungy and edgy style of sections. Similarly to the floor plan, you can select the walls and apply a section cut, which gives you this black classic walls. And then anything that's not cut, I can select it and apply treatment and choose one of the textures. I'll admit there's not many textures, but you can change it and import different ones and you'll still get the same effect. And if you missed anything and you want to add it back, you can select it and then add selection to layer and then change the fill color. And actually, I'm going to make it a really dark gray to fit the style of the section. And now I'm going to select all of the walls and go into walls and choose one of the textures. You can select any of these textures, but I'm going to go for something really plain and change its color to gray. They added a gradient to the wall effect, which makes it lighter at the top and darker at the bottom to give some shadow from the walls, which is super nice and very thoughtful. Selecting all of the windows and applying a window effect and then selecting all of the wooden furniture and applying a custom layer with a brown beige color. And then all of the other furniture is gray and neutral colors. There's also a doors effect, which gives it a striped texture. Finally, with sections, it's always great to add some human figures. And I also downloaded these watercolor people from Etsy. But of course, you can add any style of people. But I thought that these watercolor people work really well with the Archi toolbox. You can't forget about trees to give this drawing a bit of life. And that's the final section. This one took a little longer than the floor plan, but I mean, that's understandable because I was selecting all of the furniture. But again, 12 minutes is not a long time and you don't even have to color in the furniture. You can do all of this within 10 minutes or less. At this point, I was really shocked with the results that 
the Archie Toolbox was giving me that I want to test it out on this tower section which has a lot of things to select and I think the original one that I did for uni took more than an hour to make. I added black trees using a Photoshop brush that I created myself. I'll have that linked in the description box if you're interested. And this is the final section. And this only took 13 minutes to create. It's super impressive considering the size of the drawing. They also introduced a perspective tab. This effect doesn't require a mask layer. Instead, if you click on render, you can see that you must select the subject of the image, which is your building. So I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool to select it. And then click on render. This will take a few minutes, maybe I'd say three minutes. And then afterwards, you'll have a pencil style to your image. And there's so many other styles that you can choose from. There's pencils, there's colored pencils, watercolor, canvas, highlighter, which is super cool, photo illustration, you name it. And there's a few adjustments. So the mask is a selection of the building. So you can disable it and it will make it look like you haven't selected the building. You can also make the mask sharper or softer. And you can also emphasize the greenery, but I don't have that much trees or anything in the image. And also it's black and white. So that didn't work for me. Stop laughing, you heavy view. What are you doing? Because now I'm thinking that I'm watching a horror film and I'm scared, so no, that's making just, me laugh. Just normal, just normal. Just I'm normal. getting into character. Forget the character, you're watching something. <laughs> We're recording 10 seconds. Guys, I really think you should run. <laughs> like, don't walk, run and get this Archie Toolbox because it's super amazing. It will save you so much time. The results really speak for themselves, and I'll have the link in the description box. They're also giving us a discount so I'll have that in the pinned comment and if you bought the previous action you'll get an additional discount. Thank you so much to the team at Archie Toolbox for creating this wonderful tool that's really gonna help us survive architectural school. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I'll see you next time.